everybody. Now, people could debate forever on what the best Christmas song is. Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogues and White Christmas by Bing Crosby. They're up there, but not on my list. I like my holiday tunes to be a little bit on the odd side. What are some of my favorites, you ask? Let's start with Mr. Grinch by Thurl Ravenscroft. Boris Karloff narrated the 1966 TV classic gem, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but it was Thurl Ravenscroft who sang the iconic song. Sadly, though, he was never credited for it in the film. As far as I'm concerned, no one will ever sing that song better. Oh, and a fun fact, did you know that Mr. Ravenscroft was the voice of Tony the Tiger? Great! I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas by Gala Peavy. This song is just adorable. You can't deny it. But it does have a quite interesting backstory. The song was written after it was brought to the attention of Little Miss Peavy that there was no hippopotamus at her local city zoo in Oklahoma. In a bit to buy Gala a hippo, the song raised thousands of dollars and she was actually presented with a little baby hippopotamus. The Chipmunk Song, Christmas Don't Be Late by David Seville and the Chipmunks. One day a guy was messing around with some tapes when he played one at the wrong speed. That messing around led to the birth of the chipmunks. And that guy? Ross Bagdasarian, who changed his name to David Seville. It may have gotten him fired, but it opened the door for musical experiments like the Beatles using backwards tapes and the Bee Gees super falsettos. Who would have thought we could thank a mistake and some silly rodents for some of music's greatest sounds? Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer by Elmo and Patsy. This song is a cautionary tale of drinking way too much on Christmas and making bad decisions, like thinking you can walk home after said excessive fun. Grandma has a few too many eggnogs and, as the song goes, is found the next morning with hoof prints on her forehead and claws marks on her back. Sure, it's a silly country song and I usually don't partake in country music, but this song has definitely left its mark on Christmas for years to come. I thought that I knew every strange Christmas song that was out there, but I was wrong. So thank you, Internet, for showing me these gems. I farted on Santa's lap. Now Christmas is going to stink for me by the little stinkers. What more can you say about a song that starts off with the lyrics, Mom made beans for dinner. You know I ate them all. Said, come get your coat on. We're going to the mall. I mean, you kind of know what you're in for. Want to hear more of this gem? Well, you're in luck because you can find it on iTunes. Slay Ride by R2-D2 and C-3PO. Touted as one of the weirdest Christmas songs of all times, this song features R2 trying to sing this Christmas classic. But the album it's on, Christmas in the Stars, is chock full of goodies like What Can You Get a Wookiee for Christmas When He Already Owns a Comb and R2-D2, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, which featured a then-unknown John Bon Jovi. Some Christmas songs don't shy away from the offensive. Just take Eric Idle's Fuck Christmas or a little ditty called Fuck You If You Don't Like Christmas by Credbump, who is the alter ego of Toothpaste for Dinner creator Drew. It features great lyrics like Fuck You If You Don't Like Reindeer Dogs. Very true. Very true. And don't think that sex doesn't enter in at Christmas. Backdoor Santa by Clarence Carter. You may have been blind, but Clarence could definitely see some fun innuendo. And I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus, the jolly old man only got to first base. But in Backdoor Santa, he got, well, quite a lot of grand slams. Lyrical highlights include, well, I ain't like the old Saint Nick. He don't come but once a year. But there will always be one song that I cannot listen to and will always change the station if it comes on. The Christmas Shoes by New Song. Now I get that this is supposed to be a heartstring tugging song. And let me tell you, it definitely delivers on that front. It's a story of a young boy who wants to buy a new pair of shoes for his dying mother in case she meets Jesus that night. Seriously. From the song itself, to its video, to the CBS made-for-TV movie, this song is just way too heavy for what's supposed to be the happiest time of the year. I want to know what Christmas songs you guys love, so let me know down below. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys tomorrow for some more Sammy Mess. Love you.